Now we will check this out. Did you know that Idonia and Vibes Cartel are actually biological brothers? Yes, Idonia and Vibes Cartel are actually brothers. They actually share the same father. No people never know say Idonia and Cartel are brother. If you never know, well, now you know. John, John, now oh, people know say a lot of one in the comment section of course and I said answer all truth a lie ya tell I do and cartel and the brothers but let me tell you this I do and vibes cartel are actually biological brothers yes they are biological brothers and people I came across this shocking discovery when I checked the date and found out that today is April 1st Today all fools there, so go and cuss in the comment section and see a lie me I tell. <laughs> Can you just get fooled? Almighty all right, God, Jesus Christ, Almighty God. Right. Look at this magic right. trick. Right. Wait till yeah, the see end. Just look, 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 look. Alright, see the string of whole water, just show it. Alright. So basically, the, the back of the man, I'll crush it up. Just crush it up, man. Crush it up. Alright, let's go. Let's go and see. Okay, crush up. Alright, watch out. Blue knife. Now people, you know what is on social media nowadays people not afraid to say nothing, they mouth not have no filter. We are talking about here in Jamaica, you know. Yes, we are talking about a stereotype a culture. Well we don't feel like so it's a stereotype anymore because the woman them say anything and the man them say anything will come to their mouth. All right, so this is for the man. Then. When the woman has second order, right? I want to come over thing and she still a continue and when I start react like when I have heart attack and then like, <gasps> <gasps> Is that a reaction if we stop or when I love it and we continue to come? I want to know. Bumbo, clot, you know, we are not fresh up. Now people, you can answer me never warn you. Them nowadays generation, them not afraid to say nothing on camera. One day she not have mother and father if them not go see this and I'm like, seriously? <laughs> Anyhow, people, speaking about being afraid though, I came across this video where you have this man, him have a device where you can actually see underneath the water. It works like a drone, so he might control it underneath the water and a video underneath. Guess which part the man decides to say, he might go work him device right at the infamous flat bridge. And people, you know what? Take a look at this. Footsteps under the water, see there? Footsteps under the water, people. So you know what that mean? Um, uh, go back to the Hold on. It's move too fast. I'm going to try to go in the settings and, and turn it down. I'm going to let you know somebody now. How about that? How about that? How about that? How about that? Come up! Now people, you see that figure in the water? I mean like, uh, I see the figure, you know, but me there, uh, one more scary is that uh, somebody in a them rightful mind, I got got the flat bridge. The flat bridge where people just drive off, you know, I don't know if some them possess and just drive off in there. A lot of accidents, you know, the legend that uh, there are mermaids there and dopey slave, all type of thing. But that bridge, that bridge, not that bridge, because I don't even want to drive on that bridge. Any of people share your thoughts in the comment section. And also, people, today is not only just April the 1st, All Fools Day, but today is Easter Monday, and the thought of the day is. I always hear people thank God for your second chance at life. But I just want to take a time out this morning to thank God for 20 odd years out of chance at life. Because I see every day when I get up, is another chance I get from God. My mind do not know what my purpose. But I know there is a purpose in me. So Father God, I have to continue to watch over my life, continue to guide and protect me. And people, as usual, do remember to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make we kick the video off like this. Now people check this out, yesterday popular YouTuber Sir P from Politics Watch, he did a video in which he stated that Vibes Cartel, well him actually said Vibes Barabbas, so let me say allegedly Vibes Cartel, well he stated that Vibes Barabbas use a popular funeral home that goes by the name of Bright Light to get rid of lizard body so them do a cremation, he also exposed the person who actually runs the funeral home of being a criminal not only to get rid 
rid of Lizard's body, but many other people and people, I am going to say allegedly because you know how the thing go. Well, people, that person, he actually came out and he made a video about Sir P's video stating that all these are rumors and they are actually lie. He man said nothing, no, so nothing like that. So he is just clearing the air, people. Take a look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not into the habit of responding to negativities, you know, because I'm a God fearing person and um, God knows my heart. Now, there's a rumor, uh, rumors I should say, going around in respect to a gentleman by the name of Sir P. I don't know where he's getting this information from. And to be honest with you, I wish I knew where he was getting such false and degrading information from. My name is Tommy Thompson, Mr. Brightlight. In all my life, and uh, I'm, a matter of fact, I'm saying this with God to my witness. I have never once and no occasion ordered anybody to be killed or in any way indirectly or directly has nothing or anything to do with anyone who have died under any circumstances sir p i don't know where you're getting the information from or if they are made up or you're doing it to get viewerships or whatever but i'm asking you kindly to desist tommy thompson bright light and i will say again god to my witness i swear he said not to swear in his name, but I'm doing that. No, if he wants to get an audit me, then he has that right to do so. I have nothing or anything to do with any of the allegations that is not being made by him. And I'm asking you, please, Sir P, to desist. Tommy Thompson has nothing to do with lizards. Tommy Thompson has nothing to do with my best friend, one of my best friends. And I said best friends. In the sense that wherever we go, he's always taking pictures like anybody else. And that's somebody who has been, uh, who was very, very dear to me. Up to this day, up to this day, up to this day, I can assure you. And that humble human being could not have done anything. I repeat, that humble human being could not have done anything to me or anybody that is around me. That would have resulted in his death. And I don't know why anyone, whether family, friends, on outside, uh, on lookers, sympathizers, would think that this gentleman, Tommy Thompson, has anything to do with his disappearance. Also, lizards, I have nothing, nothing in all my years of business, which everybody knows I have made a massive impact as it relates to funerals in this country i have no reasons any reasons at all to step out of my line of business to do something that is i would consider out of bounds for my services never ever ever done that i don't own a cremator the system is in this country is so attached in direct contact that there is no way I could have done that because there are only two cremators in this era of Kingston and everything and these two cremators are professionals and they follow procedures you have to go through procedures and I don't think I don't know why anybody would bring anybody to me then under the circumstances to dispose of under any circumstances unless it is legit and legally done and I'm asking Sir P I don't know you. As a matter of fact, it's my intention to seek advice on this matter. I'm asking you, please, sir, to desist from putting my name out in a negative light. I'm asking you, please, to desist from your actions. If you want to speak to me at any given time, sure, you can speak to me. You can Google me, and you can get to me, and you can speak to me directly. But I'm asking you, please, kindly to desist from these allegations, which has no basis, has no merit. And I, and I plead that in the name of Jesus Christ, because I know me. 
and my God know me. And who is close to me know me. I am a man of dignity. I stand with a dignified standing in this society. I work hard for it. I didn't buy it. I didn't hurt people to get where I'm at. I work hard. I have changed this industry. I brought it to its act today. And I don't want my name to be flagged in any way. Thank you, sir. Now, people, speaking about Vibes Cartel, did you know that Vibes Cartel has been a trending topic since 2002, coming straight up into 2024? Can you believe that all of the real Gaza fans them or all of the real Vibes Cartel fans them would have known this from Kickdown Ninja Man, Gully and Gaza feud? I mean, like countless bleaching. There is so many other things. I mean, Vibes Cartel is well known. And the man named Eva Chen, Vibes Cartel, has been a hot topic since in boss it's fair to say and up to 2024 vibes cartel is still a trending topic don't believe me well people take a look at this despite me and asafa powell have the same bloodline i don't like him anymore i was listening to queen africa this morning calling out cartel for marrying to a strange woman and i agree with her 100 percent you want to tell me that the amount of women that are in Jamaica, cartel couldn't find any Jamaican for marry to? Hmm? You want to tell me that Powell, Asafa Powell couldn't find any Jamaican for marry to? You want to tell me that Bob Marley children couldn't find any Jamaican for marry to? A Jamaican build on up. A Jamaican build up cartel. A Jamaican build up weak emotion, Powell. A Jamaican build on up. Uno no nothing without Jamaican woman. And uno a run about but uno no want married to we. Look for uno to. A we keep uno. Uno breed we and give we uno picnic and rape we and do all kind of something to we and then uno can marry to we uno have to go look on one colored woman and pretty woman and tall hair woman for married to. Me take side with Queen Africa. Fire bun for you no. Yeah. Fire bun for you no. You Powell. You have to tell me, say, yeah, you, have, you could have found two baby mothers for breed and left, but you couldn't marry to none of them. Eh? What is it about we want to okay, marry to none of them? You have kiss out all Jamaican. And Vivo, as stated before, Vibes Cartel has been a trending topic. So either you rate him or you hate him. A lot of criticism and a lot of well wishers. Now, people, speaking about critiques, dance and artist Pablo YG is under a lot of criticism for a recent song he did in which he stated that if a boy step on him clocks, him stab them up now. Now, a lot of persons are very upset about that because, you know, many of these artists, they're very influential. And can you imagine now, a youth look up to Pablo YG as him idol. Then he hear a lyrics like that. A boy step on my clocks. Me stab him up now. Then the youth go to school. A youth go step on him clocks. And you can imagine when idol say do. And he's going to do it. Now people, he has been under a lot of criticism. And it continues. Boy and I show no good sign. That him a go out if you do nothing good for music. This youth here. Him sit down and him make make and him box shuffle. And him do all type of man of bull crap for an interview. When him them ask him a question, him box shuffle, him make make him go around, him bite bite him, shift shift. Barely can come out to him want to come out with him. Yet still the same boy here. Can come tell you say. If a boy take pan in class, in wall him and stab him up. No, I don't really see no big man. I know big woman around here, so I fight over no clocks. That is a mere kid's activity. See? That is a kid's activity. Go out to pan shoes and it cause a fight. Because as an adult, we don't know the shoes is of no significance to we and to our progress, our development, our prosperity. That is of no significance to we. See, Muta chat up and heard the barefoot and him not make that trouble him. No, you tell me if I'm, if I'm for me pity them, the boy I try to target in high school, in a school, to get fame people them, and fame family them when you go to school and to murder them off, because he's a prepare them for go out with knife or ice pick and scissors. If a boy step by your class, you know, whether by accident or why, you know, this boy I don't, 
state in a no way at all. Oh, he would have, which, which, which no way at all not justifiable. But accidentally, my youth could have come step on a boy clocks and never see and pick up a stab. Now, people, check this out. I see this video circulating on social media where it states that police personnel were caught actually taking money from a driver. But, people, when we watch the video, it's like it happened so fast, I can't even see nothing. I swear. So, I don't want to tell no life on the squad. But, people, take a look at this. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? No, 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 Almighty All God, right, Jesus sir. Christ, Almighty God. <laughs> what would social media be without Pretty Dan? People, you know what? I know that everyone should see what's going on with Diddy. That is P. Diddy. The man is being accused of some unthinkable things. Now, people, even some dancehall artists, they're under fire because enough of them roll with Diddy. People, <laughs> take a look at this. In fact, people, may I tell you the truth? I'm out. I'm out. So, you know what? <laughs> take a look at this. Diddy! A whole heap of Jamaican did it in a Diddy party, them. Being the get fuck. Walla who no get blood clot fuck. Diddy don't ask. Jamaica pass stage with the wall of blood clot, who no. All of the Mexican all you did it too. Me no, enough how no Jamaican make man like Diddy pinch on up behind the scene. Enough man like all who no popcorn and the wall of them put up with batty man like Diddy them in a game. Diddy them how no hide all them. Fuck that Diddy them where fuck and pick me and man all of them sitting there. Enough how no Jamaica, that's what I tell you no one time, who no burn out, cause I see all the same Rasta will love burn out. Sadamite and Batman. You see him Rasta did a link with this your Batman here. That's why I tell you so when you hear you Rasta them they put a, a coke no for them Rasta you are taking up. Majority I Rasta them when you see a Jamaica a coke them are take. Because the same Rasta will love get up and burn out Batman every day. All him did a link with Diddy. So, that's why I tell you so when I be careful of who burning you know. Because when you care burn and now nah burn right, you know. You understand what I say? Because somehow, you know, when you nah burn, you know, still blood clot kids with Batman, and then one burn Batman. So I see my help and stay there, yeah, you don't make a rasta them a burn Batman. But they see him, they see a rasta the rub shoulder with Diddy do. A whole heap of Jamaicans, God did the blood clot for God party them. And no for them rasta ya we say them militant and they pass stage a bun and say Batman and Sadamite for dead a rub shoulder with Diddy. One feature for and Diddy. One work with blood clot Diddy. All a bumbo clot them where you see. We tell them talk of Diddy. Praise them praise Diddy. Forgot Diddy. Diddy we back call in a body argument from the nineties. Remember? You see him rasta we on and say yes. Him uh, he hit Batman that the Rasta there when you can see that the Rasta there with Batman Diddy with pedophile Diddy whole heap of Jamaicans have to answer for the Diddy party them where them did go one time them here yeah, Rasta here yeah, straight people here yeah, of Jamaica where burn out Batman and Sadamite did a rub shoulder with Diddy with them there since he did the argument come out the whole of the mighty silent though so one time when you go around Diddy as a rasta them when you like Batman and Batman and Sadamite for dead. Will you never smell it do it upon him? 